We have more breaking news to share with you here at 6. Moberly police say a shooting suspect is now in custody. Just over an hour ago, police say the person suspected in a shooting in the 100 block of Elizabeth Street was captured. ABC 17's Mitchell Kaminsky joins us live from outside the home where that standoff occurred. Mitchell, a neighbor showed you some video of the incident. Megan Lucas, police responded to a shots fired call here on Elizabeth Street just before 1030. All the commotion uh, for the incident was happening just outside this house that you can see uh, right behind me here. I did see some security footage earlier in the day that showed the suspect walking up to the house with what appeared to be a pistol behind her back. We did not get permission to use that video. However, police did release a photo of the woman. She was wearing a pink top and blue jeans. Multiple witnesses tell me that the um, woman allegedly was angry at her ex-husband uh, who was inside the house and that is why uh, the shots were fired. Um, they also say that there was a lengthy standoff. They were multiple mobile police officers uh, scattered throughout the front of the house as well as blocking off the street. There was also members of the highway patrol and K-9 unit on the scene as well. There's evidence markers placed in front of the house and multiple shell casings collected. Just before 5 o'clock, a Moberly Area Community College uh, lifted their lockdown after the suspect was arrested. Moberly uh, Public Schools were also in lockdown for the majority of uh, the day, as well as the Little Dixie Regional Library, YMCA, and uh, multiple businesses downtown as well. Uh, while the um, lockdown was lifted for Mobile Area Community College, it was still in effect while school was being let out. Uh, and I was told by an employee at the YMCA uh, that parents were instructed to pick up their children. The high school had instructions posted outside and the uh, middle school was uh, directing cars to loop around to the back uh, to pick up their children. We are still working to find out the name of uh, the suspect, so we will update you uh, once more information uh, becomes available both on air and online at abc17news.com. Reporting live in Moberly, Mitchell Kaminsky, ABC 17 News. Mitchell, thank you. Police say they will release the suspect's name when formal charges are filed by the prosecutor.